So what am I going to talk about? I'll talk a little bit just about HANA, what is it generally? But my real focus is not the database itself. I'm not a database expert. But I'm hopefully going to help you to ask the sort of questions that, or ans answer the sort of questions that you might find yourself asking as a controller. You know, say we've all had performance issues in the time. You know, our marketing messages, everything's going to be faster. I'm the product owner, and you know, they said about complaints in the presentation. So I want to tell you what really will be faster, but unfortunately, some of the things might also be a little bit slower. And also, when we come to next steps at the end, it's exciting times. Things are really changing fast at the moment. Hasso Platner has very great visions as to where financials and controlling are going to be in two or three years' time. I'm in the middle of that whirlwind. But you know, watch this space. Things are changing all the time. So what I'll talk about is, first of all, just what HANA is, and then which of the controlling applications are already on HANA. A lot of these are the sort of things that end up in my inbox. You know, we hear that you've got a COPC accelerator. Hey, you know, COPC is really slow. You know, and I have to kind of tiptoe the line that says, well, this is going to be faster, and we haven't got to that piece yet. <laughs> Which is not that it's not on my list. Please don't misinterpret me here. But you know, some things are easier than others. So maybe this is also a little bit of a reality check about what's on HANA, what's coming, and where will we be. And with next steps, I'll also talk about something that we're work some of the things that we're working on at the moment and that will be going out to the next first customers around Christmas and hopefully to a bigger audience sometime next year. So what is it? You all said you knew what it was. It's an in-memory database, which when somebody said to me, hey, cool, we've got an in-memory database, I kind of went, so what? And I think a lot of people in the application world kind of go, so what? The point about handling everything in memory is it, it enables you to handle much bigger volumes much more quickly. 